Welcome back. So one of the perks of having a YouTube channel is that people will happily send you stuff for free, either for your consideration or just because you asked for it. Today I have three packages that arrived in the last couple of weeks. Two of them I asked for and two of them I didn't. These two I asked for and this one was sent to me for free by PCBWay. So let's start with this one. Let's see if I can open this without bumping into the camera. No, I can't. I have to move this. And still I bumped into the camera. So PCBWay recently celebrated their six years of existence. They sent me a couple of stickers. I'll put them... Where shall I put them? Just off to the side. They also sent me a few rulers. A black one, a blue one, a red one and a yellow one. And on there you can see the trace widths they do and the types of packages they all do. All kinds of chips and passive components. All the way down to 0201. That's nice. Thank you very much. There's also a t-shirt. Oh, and a pen. It says PCB way prototype the easy way. They also sent me a t-shirt which I don't know if I will wear that. Maybe I'll wear this as a t-shirt to bed and dream about all the nice PCBs I'm gonna make. And there was something else it dropped out. Let's move the box away. They also sent me a badge they made. Six years of PCB way. And there's a switch and I believe these are some RGB LEDs. And it's designed by Akersan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I may have to see if I can find him on YouTube or somewhere else. So it's a badge, there's a coin cell holder there, and I happen to have a coin cell right here. Don't know how much charge there is left in there, but we'll, we'll see. Um, plus goes on the top. Put it in, flick the switch. Oh, there it goes. How visible is that on camera? Not really. Maybe if I hold my hand. Uh, let's uh, let's turn off the light. So these are the RGB LEDs with a. I believe there's some circuitry in them, so they can run directly off a. Well, in this case, a coin cell, and they will switch through colors. I can see blue, green, yellow, and a few colors in between them in some random pattern, which makes for a really cool badge. The next thing that was sent to me, uh, by the way, PCB way, they told me we would like to send you something. Is your address still the same? And I said, yes. And they sent me this. This I asked for. Um, I went to, while I open this up, I'll tell you a bit of a story. I went to the microchip samples website and I was really curious about some chips that were coming out. They weren't yet for sale on Mauser or anywhere for that matter. They are now. Um, but I asked them for two samples of the same, well, not the same chip, but about the same chip. Let me get it out. Well, this is kind of readable through the tube. Don't want to get them out. These are the AVR128DA and these are the 28 pin version. And over here in this really nice case, a micro pack anti static case, there are two chips. 
in their tape still. And let's zoom in to those. These are also the AVR 128DAs. Only these are the 64 pin chips. Now these seem really interesting to me. A quick look at the data sheet tells me that they are quite easily to deal with and uh, have a lot of possibilities. So I was planning to, well I don't have a breakout board for these so maybe I'll dead bug them. That would be interesting. And see if we can program these. Uh, of course that would be possible but let's see if I can program them. For that I have a Picket 4 on the way and I hope that will arrive somewhere next week so I could uh, try and see well let's first do some blink stuff right and the last one that is coming from what well, says there from Germany and this is also one I asked for and actually I didn't ask for them to send me anything for free um, I asked the company it's on here it says Supermagneten. I don't know how, how to pronounce this in English, but it's Supermagneten. Uh, it says 15 years. Thank you very much. Um, well, I guess by, by the name you can already tell that these are magnets. And a while ago I had a conversation with someone on my Discord server. And it was about the Hall effect sensor and a magnet and to do some kind of positioning on a stepper motor and this company sells neodymium magnets and they sell magnets that are really really small and I asked them can you make like a sample pack of some of the small magnets you have because they only sell them per 20 and I didn't need 20 of each I just needed a few and they said no we can't do that but we can send you some different sizes for you to try out. And I said, yes, please. And they did. And look at all these happy people that have ordered magnets from them. You know, he's, he's quite happy. His sales have gone up. He can't pull those apart. Maybe this is not a good idea, throwing the box of magnets. She doesn't know why she ordered magnets, but she's really happy. Right, some warning instructions. Don't swallow them. They are... Well, this is all in Dutch. I'll roughly translate it for you. Don't swallow them. They are conductive. Uh, you can bruise yourself. And don't put them in anything they're not supposed to be put. So they sent me four different sizes. They're all disc magnets and the smallest one well it's kind of between those two but this one has a diameter of one millimeter and a height of one millimeter this one also has a height of one millimeter but a diameter of two millimeters or millimeter this one a height of 0 0.5 millimeters but a diameter of 1.5 millimeter and this one is two millimeters uh, in diameter and two millimeters in height. Now I wanted a few different sizes of magnets because different sizes of magnets have different sizes of magnetic flux density and I well there's calculations you can do but I wanted to see in practice what it actually meant. So the people from Supermagnete, I still have trouble pronouncing that in English, uh, kindly sent me those and let's just grab one and show you how small these things actually are. I'll grab the one that is one millimeter in diameter and one millimeter in height. Look at how small that is. Oh, whoa, that's actually really strong. Look at that. Boop. Can't grab it. Oh, nah, come on. <laughs> there it 
they're really strong. Now just so you can see how small this actually is, this is a 0603 resistor and this is the magnet and it's really 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 small but surprisingly really strong. Now this is his big brother this is the one that is two millimeters in diameter and two millimeters in height and that's still an 0603 resistor but just to show you how strong these little things actually are I'll zoom you back out now this is a TS100 tip um, I believe this is C1 or 1C maybe both but just to show you how strong this is I can pick up the tip the whole tip with the magnet that's unbelievable how strong this is and it's not like it's loose it uh, has a pretty good grip actually it has a bit of better grip than I do so a bit of an odd video but still thank you very much to microchip PCB way and super magnete for sending me their stuff for consideration I really appreciate this links to all this is in the description below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye